Okay, Ashley, this is how I'm gonna start with you. Oh, wait a minute, my stuff is all crooked. Let me see if I can straighten it out. All right, the red piece is your pattern piece. And of course, the white piece is the piece that you are going to be making your marks on. If you look right here, you see that I have a little notch that is to indicate one inch from where I want you to mark at the hip of your pants. This is the front of the pants. And if you look closely, I have drawn in the stitch lines. Okay, up here where the pen is, is where I want you to push the pen into the cardboard. I've got cardboard up under this white, okay. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to get this done a whole lot better for the next person who needs this. Okay, just a minute, doggone it. Okay, another put another pen in it to keep it from sliding. Now, where's my pencil? Okay, I got it. All right. Okay, what I want you to do is lay your pattern piece on, you say you're gonna use wax paper. Lay it on the wax paper, and I want you to draw a line from here down the outside of the pant leg. You'll end up with something that looks like this. Okay, once you do that, I want you to swing the pant leg back all the way to the one inch dot and trace. You see where I trace that line? Okay. Now I'm gonna need you to do this. Take the pen, put it in the seam line at the bottom where the hem goes. You see? And push your pant over to the line. Then I'm gonna need you to trace it. It's gonna look like that. So right here, you have an inch added to one seam. But this is two pieces, so now you've got two inches added, okay? What you need to do then is trace your pattern so that you have this amount extra so that you can add it to what's already there. What I did was I just cut down the center of the paper and left this amount. You end up with the pattern being this big on the outside of the original. Can you see that? I'm gonna send you this video and see if you understand.